god, so I've actually just strapped my hair in this and I cannot get it off. Oh my god. I might just, I'm just have to pull it. Ooh. <sighs> welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me and when i say get ready with me i actually am not going anywhere so i mean it's more of a play with makeup and make myself look and feel a lot more better so that's what we're going to be doing today however i have no control over what products i'm going to be using or what my hair's going to be like this is a collab with charlie harrington i'm really sorry if i say your name wrong I literally had to send you a clip saying how do I say your last name just in case I say it wrong and I sound stupid so yeah so we sent each other pictures of our makeup skincare and then like hair and like accessories we have and stuff she kind of knows me quite well because the only products that I haven't used before is the highlighter contour and the eyebrow so she did really well to be honest so in front of me I've kind of got out the different bits and products that she said for me to use and when it came to the eyeshadow she was very specific so I'm going to try my best. I'm not as good as her. She does quite arty kind of looks. I'm more kind of like a soft glam. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll have a go at this. And I also did this on her channel. So, after you watch this one, go check out hers. She sent me her products last. So, obviously, I was a bit meaner. And I told her exactly what look I wanted. So, <laughs> go watch her. It's definitely be worth a watch. I will link it at the top and in the description as well. So, anyway, let's just get on with this video. So my hair is still quite damp because I've just had a shower so hopefully that's going to dry naturally and I've got a cup of tea because I'm an old lady and it is the morning so. I have so much tea in my videos like definitely tell I'm British. Okay so to start off with for the skincare she actually sent me to use the eye patches. So these are the Soothing Eye Patches from Primark. They have got vitamin E in them and they're meant to like restore elasticity but I can never open these so let's try. I got it. Okay. So in these as well, you actually get 15 treatments and they're only a pound. So that's really good. So let's put these on. It feels so weird being really flushed eye and my eyes are watering already. Okay, so the eye patches are on and I look super weird right now. So you're meant to leave these on for 50 minutes. So while I do that, I'm going to do my eyebrow. So for eyebrow, she shows the, the Anastasia Berry Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This one's actually not my colour. This is an auburn. So it's a little bit more red. I'm just going to also turn my hair up as well. That's really weird, right? Well, let's fill these eyebrows in. I'm not the best at eyebrows. It's probably one of my worst things when it comes to makeup i can do this one perfectly it's like a perfect curve but then this one's just like a straight line that goes down so i'm gonna probably time lapse this because it's truly really boring but for my eyebrows i kind of just brush them up and then i draw a line underneath it where it should be oh this is really red and then i just brush down and i draw a line on the top And then I just brush them in the middle and fill it in. I'm just going to try and fix it a little bit, if I can. Before I mess it up, we're just going to stick with that, so. Okay, so next for concealer, she chose the Primark Liquid Concealer. And this one's like medium coverage. I'm going to start by putting it on my eyelid and then under my eyebrow as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a flat brush and go a little bit more under my brow. I'm just gonna pat it out so hopefully it's not so orange okay now for eyeshadow she chose the be perfect carnival palette and this is my absolute favorite one it's so pigmented and the colors are so bright so also this palette comes with two highlighters and I don't know if it's just me but when a palette has like blushes or highlighters in them I never actually use it for a highlighter. I don't know if it's anyone else or if it's just me but like I have quite a few with different bronzers and like blushes in and I just don't use them other than eyeshadow. But anyway so she chose this palette and she said a really colourful look and then she sent me a text this morning so you need to use at least four different colours. So, so when I first look at this the things that pop up to me is the bright pink and the bright blue. So I think we might go for like a pink blue kind of look she said four different colors nothing really two 
right i'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna see what we create so let's give this a go so i'm just gonna kind of zoom you in a little bit more oh god you can definitely see how bad i look right now so i started my youtube channel with having like nice makeup on and always in my hair nice and now i just generally always look awful until like the end five minutes when i actually put my makeup on but it's fine it's it's a transition it's a process it's fine okay so to start with i'm gonna take this bright pink this is funky and it's literally a bright pink so so i'm gonna take it more towards the inner corner and put it on my crease I'm just going to start by like pressing it in the crease. Okay, so for the next part we're going to take the bright blue, which is this one, and this one is called Sky. I actually used this one not long ago to do my Alice in Wonderland look, which is on my Instagram, which you should definitely go check out as well. That's probably one of the best looks I've actually ever done. And I'm just going to put this in the outer part of my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to... I actually don't know what I'm going to do. Do you know what? I think I'll take the purple. Because it's kind of mixed a little bit of purple in the middle anyway. So this purple here. This one is wasted. And I'm just going to put this one in the middle and blend it a bit more. Okay, so I think I'm going for like a galaxy kind of look today. I like to normally plan my makeup looks, but I kind of just went for this. So it's either going to go really well or it's going to be a disaster. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with each colour at a time and just make it a bit more pigmented and blend it up a bit more as well. Okay, so now I was going to cut the crease. I think I'm just going to go on the glitter because it's quite like a nice shape already. So yeah, I'm just going to go on the glitter and just blend it a little bit. So for the outer corner, I'm going to be using this shimmery bluey green kind of colour. This is breezy. So I'm also just going to blend this in to the blue colour as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take in this shade. This is called Pick Me. It's kind of like a white shimmer colour with bits of pink in it as well. Okay, so I'm also just going to take that colour as well over into the blue so it mixes it a little bit more. And then I'm going to switch as well and take the glue over. That's how you kind of get it to mix into each other. I'm just going to take these off and see what it looks like without. So then you might to just dab it in as well, the excess product. So... Okay now, so for mascara, she chose the Benefit Bag Out Bang, which is this one here. I actually forgot how good this mascara is. Like, I literally need to stop using the same one. It's so good, it's like lengthening it a lot. Okay, so now moving on to base, we're going to do the primer. So, so she chose the Pore Professional Benefit one, which I've had for quite a while to be honest. And I don't want to use it because I'm going to use it all up and then I can't afford to get another one to be honest. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. It makes your skin it's so smooth. So I'm kind of just going to focus it on my dry skin and where my pores are. And then let's rub it in. Okay, now moving on to foundation. She chose the Fit Me foundation. This one is in Andrew the Four. And I am just going to put this one on my metal plate. Oh, there's literally not much of this as well. Oh, God. Okay, so I've got some of the foundation out. Now I'm just going to 
kind of even this out on my skin. Okay, so there we go, foundation is on. Next, we're gonna go back in with concealer. So obviously this was the primer one that I used, but it was a lot more orange than my normal one is. So I'm gonna try not to put too much on. Oh, that was cold. No, no, no. Okay, so there we go. The concealer's all blended in. It doesn't actually look that bad. I would normally go a little bit more lighter under my eyes, but I mean, it's kind of blended in with the foundation a little bit. Okay, so now moving on to contour. I've actually never used this before. Like, it's still in the packaging and everything. So this is the Revolution Ultra Cream Contour. That's what this looks like. Like, don't you just love a new product? Okay, so I'm going to be using this one here. This is quite like a light brown. So I'm just going to take it on a flat brush to start off with and just kind of draw the lines. I actually think this is the right colour for me, like I don't want it too dark. Off these lines out a little bit. Okay, so there we go. That's enough contour for me. I know like more people would have it a lot more darker and more, but oh my god, I'm dropping everything. But I kind of just like it lighter, so it looks a little more natural, should we say. Okay, now before we move on to powder, I'm going to take the eyeshadow again and just do the under eye. So I'm going to do the same as I did on the crease, but kind of just do like pink, pack and blue and blend that out a little bit more. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just going to blend it in, kind of like all together. And then we're just going to add the mascara on the bottom ones again. Okay, so now moving on to powder. This is the RCMA Original No Colour Powder. This one is so good. I use it quite a lot anyway. So I'm just going to kind of tip a little bit out on my palette. And then I'm just going to take this Dirty Old Beauty Blender and kind of put it under my eyes. I press it lightly into my skin because I'm quite pale anyway and I want to tan myself up more than what this stuff does which makes me so much more whiter. Then I'm just going to take the rest of this powder and brush it onto the rest of my face. Okay so while that's baking and kind of setting in we're going to go on to bronzer. So she chose the Bonjour Paris one, this is like the chocolate one and it smells so good as well. I'm just going to take this one. The only thing with this one is that it's not as pigmented as a lot of bronzers are, so you kind of have to go up and down a little bit. Once you put it on, it's really good, so. <laughs> okay, so now the bronzer's on, I'm just going to brush this powder off. Okay, so now for lips. This is the MAC Lip Gloss. This is the Purple Glitter one. And I'm kind of speeding up now because my camera's about to die, so. Okay, so there we go, the lip gloss is on. Now I'm going to be doing the setting spray. This is the Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray. I'm talking so fast because it's about to die. Okay, so last is the highlighter. I'm going to be using the Revolution Soft one. And as you can see, it's got so many different colours on. I've never actually used this before. But because I'm doing like a blue kind of purple look, I'm going to go for this one here. It's like a purple kind of highlighter. And we are just going to put this one on. Oh wow, this is really pigmented. This is so good. I still need to use this palette a lot more.
Okay, so there we go. That's the makeup done. I actually really like this look. I think I've gone for like a galaxy kind of happy look. So I'm going to go charge my battery because it keeps flashing at me. And then we shall move on to hair. Okay, so now moving on to hair, she wants me to curl my hair and use these two primer clips, which she wants I do use quite a lot. So, to curl my hair, I'm actually going to be using this one, which I only ever used on other people, not myself. So this is the Bayless Hair Curl. So it's one of these. I haven't actually used this on myself, like I said. So, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so I've just turned it on and it's warming up, so hopefully that won't take too long. And now I'm just going to section off my hair ready to curl it. I definitely think for this makeup look I should have done space buns. That would have been cool. Okay, so it's getting warm. I think I'm gonna give it a try. I always use the side of the sack a bit facing your head. Here it goes, nothing. So please don't burn my hair. I am impressed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really shocked because I didn't actually think I was gonna work. That's so cool. It's gonna take me a while though to do all my hair, so. Oh my god, so I've actually just trapped my hair in this and I cannot get it off. Oh my god. I might just, I'm just going to have to pull it. Ooh. <sighs> and that you can see it's all ripped. I actually do not know what happened. Like, okay, so change of plan. Since what happened, I've got a load of hair in this now, so I'm just going to... It is technically curly, but I'm just going to tie the top up. But then she wants me to use these, so I don't know what to do. Um, okay, I, I know what I'm going to do. It's fine. I'm going to kind of part it and then put the top up. So I kind of think I was rushing it because I was like literally getting bored. So I think next time I might just need to literally sit down and do it really slowly, but I will be scared. Oh my god. What an absolute idiot. It's wavy, it's not exactly curly, but... This isn't even curly, it's just frizzy. Right, so now I'm going to put in these primer clips that she wanted. Do you have to go for two, or just use the one? Do you know I just use the one there we go i'm not sure about this hairstyle to be honest okay guys so this is the finished look with the hair and the makeup love the makeup i'm not sure about the hair like it's not even curly it just looks so frizzy and i'm gonna have to spend some time treat my hair because it's pretty much ripped so love that for me anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to check out charlie's video i will link her video up there and down in the description as well and lastly don't forget to subscribe down below and i will see you guys soon for a brand new video bye guys